So a few days ago, I posted a Q&A segment on my Instagram story. But before we get into that, I feel like we need some background music. So let's cook something real quick. Once I restart this computer, I will get to cooking. In the meantime, why don't we just jump into the questions? What made you want to move to Nashville? This is a good question. There's actually a few reasons to why um, we wanted to come out here. I think the first being just to kind of get out of my hometown to experience something completely brand new, to be away from home. And I'm not talking about like 30 minutes away from home. I'm eight hours south. Another reason would be that I'm a musician. So I wanted to come out to Music City to connect with more people, to play with more people. I know I'm known as the one man band guy, but the truth is I love playing with other people. I love jamming and I love gigging. It's like one of my favorite feelings. I love putting on a performance, making people feel good, making people dance. That's always just a good time. Nashville is a very, very rapidly developing city in the US. I actually believe it's number one. Don't quote me on that. Or do. I got a little cold in here, so I wanted to put on a, a jersey. Definitely not to, you know, show off the drip or anything. What do you hope to dream about when you fall asleep? I think all of my videos, one way or another, are a manifestation of my dreams. What's the best part about living in Nashville? That's hard. I love the food out here. It's kind of expected though, you know, you come to Nashville and you eat the Nashville hot chicken and you have their barbecue, it's like something that everybody should at least experience. Here's one of my big dreams that I have. I'm gonna go back in time once they develop, you know, the time traveling devices and they give it to the grand populace. I'm gonna go back in time bring a Nashville hot chicken sandwich with me and feed it to a Victorian child. And I'm gonna have them rate it one through 10. How long have you been playing drums? I started playing drums when I was seven years old. At one of my family members' houses, they always had a drum set downstairs that nobody ever touched. So every time I'd come over, I'd find myself not being able to get off the kit. There was just something about it that I was drawn towards. So when I was young, I always liked to play, but around that time period of my life, I wasn't able to afford drums. Then when I got to middle school, I auditioned for my middle school jazz band, and at the time, I couldn't read music at all. I did percussion in fifth grade, but I didn't do it in middle school. Despite those obstacles, I actually was blessed enough to have a band director who kind of started it all for me, who kind of gave me that first push into really, really trying. Because for auditions, they would just give you a piece of the sheet music, and I would look it up on YouTube with the exact arrangement and everything to make sure I was playing the right version of that song. So he gave me a chance. He gave me a spot in the middle school band. How hard is it to play drums and guitar at the same time? Now, I think it depends on the song, actually. I've, I've talked about this a little bit before, but some songs will only take me maybe a few hours to get down, sometimes a day, but I will share the hardest song that I've learned so far was Master of Puppets by Metallica. I did that, I think, almost two years ago, so I think I need to challenge myself again, honestly, because the guitar part alone was stupid hard. It's all down picking at a very, very fast tempo. And at that time, I wasn't used to playing that fast. The guitar part actually took me like a week and a half maybe. And then when you add the drums element, the whole song is just so fast, it's such high energy. So every time I would try to get a take in and I'd mess up, it would take me a second to kind of rejuvenate my energy just because it just took a lot out of me. When did you start out the one man band thing and how long did it take to get good? So it was summer of 2020. And as you guys know, the world shut down at that time. And besides me seeing a few friends and going to a few places, everything was closed. And a lot of people were scared to see each other because of what was going on. I was in my basement. I set up the drums in the way where I play them with my feet. And I pressed record and the rest is history. I mean, that's, that's basically it. And I was just messing around and having fun. I was bored. I did not think it was gonna go viral at all. 
I think the first song I ever played was Do I Wanna Know by the Arctic Monkeys. If you scroll far enough on my TikTok page, you will find it. So then people would start requesting songs in the comments. So from there, I always just kept learning new songs as a one man band and just kept posting and kept posting and kept posting. And I was doing requests for the longest time. That's, that's basically it. <laughs> it all just started because the world was in quarantine and I was bored. That was it, that's, that's the story. Now, full disclosure, I'm not the first one to play as a one man band in that type of setup. I actually saw Rob Scallon doing a setup like that and it blew my mind. I remember watching that video like over and over again when I was younger. Shout out to Rob Scallon. His videos are awesome. He's a super talented player and uh, definitely one of my biggest inspirations as a creator and a musician. You look like Selbit. Who the f*** is that? Okay, I kind of see it. If you could eat one of your fingers, which finger would it be? I think I'd have to go with my right pinky because when I'm playing guitar, I use all of my fingers. So that would kind of be a problem if one of these fingers had to go. And when I play drums, I use all of my fingers, but I would say that my index, my middle, and my ring work a little bit harder than my pinky. If I had to eat my right pinky, that would suck, but I feel like I could work around it. Where do you get all of these amazing ideas? I appreciate the kind words. Uh, that's kind of hard to answer. I don't know, just the simplest things inspire me. And now I do get into creative ruts all the time, just like everybody else, but I don't know, I just know the steps to take in order to get inspired. So I'll put on new music, I'll go on a walk, I'll listen to podcasts, I'll put on new movies. I just kind of know how to inspire myself. I know that sounds weird, but I know how to put myself into the position where the universe will give me ideas. How big is it? Genuine question. I'll show you. So I actually currently rock Vic Firth 5As. I used to be a 7A guy, but I felt like it was too short and it was too weak. I feel like I have kind of longer fingers and I wrap around a little bit more. So when I'm playing, it's still kind of light, but it also is just slightly longer, is a little bit stronger, and that's what I like about it. So I've been rocking 5A for a little bit now. How do you feel knowing that your existence is only temporary? I actually think about that all the time. And all I feel is despite me having limited time on this earth and in this realm, I want to create as much as I can, to love as much as I can, to influence as much as I can, to inspire as much as I can, and to leave a legacy. I'm not afraid of my temporary existence necessarily, but I am afraid of not making it count. <laughs> And I remind myself every day how grateful I am to have an audience to share my ideas with. And that makes me happy. I'm surrounded by good people. I got a good life. What's, what's more to say? That's it. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you guys think about this type of Q&A videos. I kind of wanted to answer your guys' questions. And I hope you guys are enjoying these long form videos a little bit because I'm certainly having a blast making them and putting them together for you guys. Where's that chick with the dog? I hope I didn't run her over. Or even worse, her dog. I just gotta keep saying, guys, I mean, I the, the support we've been getting on the past two vlogs have just been astounding. I'm, I'm so grateful that you guys are interested. Just kind of documenting my life more, just uh, who I am as a person. However, I'm going to address something real quick. I basically read all the comments. Like, if you think your comment hasn't been read, like, think again. All of them are positive. They're showing love. But I am reading some comments where I think you guys are concerned about me, which is a good thing. You can go. There's people on their phones walking across the street. If I didn't stop, I would have hit them but because I'm such a nice person. And I also kind of don't, I don't want to go to jail, low key. Like that would kind of suck, like low key though. Anyway, been reading a lot of comments about your guys' concerns, specifically from last video. Um, people are saying, you know, hope I'm doing okay, which, you know, that's all love, I, I appreciate that. But some of the comments I have been reading are saying that they feel like they're slowly watching somebody lose their sanity and let me tell you something i am okay first and foremost i'm fine i'm not struggling mentally i'm not in a in a super dark place or, or anything like that i'm i'm all there i promise 
But honestly, I'm a little shocked because some of y'all really think I'm losing my mind like that. I understand that I make unhinged content. I understand that. But you guys got to understand that it's a character. It's not who I actually am as a person. Like, come on. You've, you've gotten two vlogs now of me. You guys should know who I am. I'm cool. I'm calm and collected. I'm never, I'm never like in an unhinged state. So I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So all in all, guys, I appreciate the love and concern. But truthfully... I'm fine. I'm not losing it or anything. I'm thriving out here. Couldn't be happier. And uh, yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure about that? Wait, 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 wait. So, Mr. Paulson, how do you plead? after being called crazy by your YouTube comments and Ro Jogan. I am not crazy! I am not crazy. I knew he swapped those numbers. I knew it was 1216. One after Magna Carta, as if I could ever make such a mistake. Never, never. I just couldn't prove it. He covered his tracks. He got that idiot at the copy shop to lie for him. Mr. Paulson, please, there's you no You think this to... is bad. This, this chicanery, he's done worse. That billboard, you're telling me a man just happens to fall like that. No, he orchestrated it. Ro Jogan. He defecated through a sunroof. And I tried to save him, and I shouldn't have. Letting him into my own videos. What was I thinking? He'll never change. He'll never change ever since he was nine. Always couldn't stop selling me his little Zaza. But not our Ro Jogan. Couldn't be our precious Ro Jogan. Stealing me blind. And he gets to be in my videos? What a sick joke. I should have stopped him when I had the chance. And, and you have to stop him. You have to.